What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a Halloween edition of uh, Hughes Huddle. It's October 31st, Halloween. We're already at the end of October. I can't believe it. Tomorrow's November. We are flying along. I uh, have to start off um, this Hughes Huddle uh, talking about last Thursday night. So our fall festival at the beginning of the year, I kind of floated an idea to the staff and said, eh, what if we, you know, we do a field day at the end of the year, we do Wilkerson Wonderland in December. Um, what if we did like some sort of a fall festival and maybe we could have a haunted house and do some hot dogs, stuff like that. And um, the staff, I cannot compliment them enough. I do want you to know that that was our teachers and staff that put all of that together, the haunted house. Um, yeah, and we, we're very appreciative of PTO helping out as well with the hayride and, and manning some of the games. But I floated the idea out there. The teachers absolutely um, took it and ran with it. They were up here late um, almost every night that week um, decorating that haunted house and getting all that prepared. And truthfully, you know, we advertised it. I talked about it on Hughes Huddle. We sent some blasts out uh, through Remind. But um we were just kind of, we were hoping that we would get enough people to show up to make all the effort that the teachers and staff put into it worth it. We had no idea, no idea that it would be um, the success that it was. Uh, I'm mind blown at the support of the families, of the students um, to come out Thursday night to have that amount of people. We, we were not anticipating that kind of turnout. Some of the lines got long, I know, but um, Everybody was in an incredible mood, having fun. The kids were having a blast, which is the most important thing. Um, the haunted house was incredible. The amount of work that our teachers put into that haunted house and seeing the kids' reactions when they came out, um, they had a blast. And that's why we wanted to do it. So from the bottom of my heart, I can tell you right now from the bottom of all of our teachers' hearts who worked so hard to put that event on for the families and for the kids, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I cannot thank you enough for the support and y'all coming out last Thursday night. Um, it's kind of a big deal. So that's going to become a staple now at Wilkerson. We will have a fall festival uh, each year. We have already met and we've got about three pages worth of notes on things we can improve upon, things we can make bigger um, because of the demand, because of the number of the people that came, things we can make bigger, things we can cut that weren't that popular. Um, we, we, like I said, we've got about three pages of notes going into next year, already kind of planning for the next fall festival next year. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sincerely, um, we had no idea. We had no idea it was going to be that. And we were, I mean, there was a couple of times and I know I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to, you know, the, the stations needed help and all that. It was it was so much bigger than we ever could have hoped for or anticipated. And we're very, very appreciative um, of y'all's support coming out. So thank you. Um, like I said, Fall Festival, Wilkerson Wonderland still going to be around in December. Uh, we're still going to be doing a field day at the end of the day. Color Run's coming back next year for our fundraiser. But Fall Festival, it's going to be kind of a big deal now. So next year is even going to be bigger and better. So, sorry, right now. walk is going off. Uh, now, a couple of things. Uh, sixth grade, you do have a math test this Friday, CA4, uh, sixth grade. So be ready for your math test on Friday. We do have a spirit night this week. It's a little bit different. It's not at a food venue. It's at a, it's at a shopping venue. So Kendra Scott, the jewelry company over on Market Street, um, they are doing, um, uh, we're doing a spirit night with Kendra Scott. So how it works is on November 4th, okay, so that is Friday, I believe. Yes, Friday. From five to seven, I'm going to put the picture of the flyer here so you'll get the code. But from five to seven, in store on Market Street at Kendra Scott, you'll get 20% off your purchase if you give this code. And then it looks like they're extending it on the fourth and the fifth, so going into Saturday online. So if you shop online at Kendra Scott on both Friday and Saturday, or in store on Friday evening, and you utilize this code, you will get 20% and portions of the proceeds will come back um, here to Wilkerson to support our kiddos. Great opportunity to maybe get uh, a Christmas gift, to get, you know, jump in and get some Christmas gift uh, gifts before the holiday rush starts. So again, that is Friday night, five to seven in store, and then Friday and Saturday online, Kendra Scott, use the gift code on the flyer that I'm attaching here, and you'll get 20% off of your purchase. So we appreciate Kendra Scott uh, for doing that for Wilkerson Intermediate. That's really all I have for this week. 
Uh, so again, thank you for last Thursday night. It, it was it was crazy, but it was so worth it. We had a blast. Um, and then hope y'all have a fabulous week this week, and we will see y'all again next Monday. Friendly reminder: next Tuesday is voting, um, so it's election day. So uh, students will not be coming to campus next Tuesday. Um, so that is on the eighth, I believe. Let me double check. Uh, yes, on the 8th. So students are not on campus on the 8th. It is a it is a vacation day for the students, uh, but it is election day. So be sure to go vote. Uh, and yeah, so that's the only thing I have really for this week. And I hope you all have a fabulous week and we will see you all next Monday. All right. Bye, guys.